back, everyone. So in this particular session, we're going to do a roasted chicken with a nice white barbecue sauce. Nice and smoky, nice and spicy, but super clean and delicious. All right, so really quick, we're going to start with some chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs. They cook really fast and they hold a lot of good temperature. Start some salt and pepper on both sides. No particular measurement. I always do like, uh, me personally, I always like a teaspoon, I guess. Take that, put it inside. And I have the oven preheated, preheated to 450, okay? Fair and um, convection. If you don't have a convection oven, do 500. And the reason why I say that, because we're gonna cook it on the outside, but we'll let the finish on the inside in the oven. Start with a tablespoon of oil. We have a nice saute pan here on a medium high heat. Drop it hot. Drop it like it's hot. About that much oil just to coat the bottom, a little residual. Feels nice and hot. I'm gonna take my chicken right over here to it. I'm gonna start with the face side down first. Like that. Pretty much right here, all we do, we smell color. We want a nice golden color because in the oven, you're not gonna get much of that nice searing color unless you start here first and then finish in the oven. And what this does is allow us to control the color, the temperature, all that good stuff. So I got the oven at 450. We want you guys a little color and claw. And if it's a thicker cut of meat, like these are kind of thin and boneless, still the same process. You will start by getting a nice color on both sides and then pop it in the oven at 450 uh, convection or a 500 in a 500 degree oven. Let's see, almost there. A little more color. I say roughly about maybe two to three minutes each side. That should give it a nice brown color before it goes into the oven. Make sure that, <laughs> make sure that fire is up. <laughs> At least a medium high. Not super high and not too low, but definitely medium high. Almost there. And this stuff's locking that juiciness also. When you're searing, it locks in all that juice and that moisture so you don't have a dried out chicken when it comes out the oven. You know what I'm saying? You want to pop it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 450. All right, let's start 15 minutes. Like I said, if you had a thicker one, then you definitely want to start with 20 to 25 minutes. But these little chicken thighs are so little, they don't need that much time. All right, so we're going to go right over here. We're going to make that delicious white barbecue sauce. And pretty much white barbecue sauce, it's a mayo base with vinegar. But we're going to jazz it up just a little bit, okay? So we'll start with a cup of mayo here. I'm going to take about that. Let's grab some of that mayo out of there. Oh, got a cup of mayo right there. We're gonna do a quarter of a cup. Oh, let's get all out. <laughs> About a quarter of a cup of um, white wine vinegar. So remember what I told you before. I like to mix the ratio up of white wine and vinegar, white vinegar. So since I need a quarter of a cup, I'm gonna fill it. Let me show you this real quick. It's just my method right here. There's no science to it. It's all eyeball. So I'm gonna do that much. A white, a white vinegar, and then I'm going to top it off with some Chardonnay. About that much there. I'm going to pass it right up in there, okay? Just like that, really easy peasy. Next, we need a tablespoon of spicy mustard. Spicy mustard here, put that down. And we're going to need a tablespoon of horseradish cream also. 
Now, creamy horseradish, you can find that in like the mustard aisle, mustard condiments, all that good stuff there. It's about a tablespoon there. Dust that right in there. All right, do a quick rinse real quick. I'm gonna need about a tablespoon of creamy horseradish too. Next, we need salt and pepper to taste. But since we're doing a white barbecue sauce, I don't want to use black pepper. I want to keep everything on the, on the lighter side. So I have white pepper here. So this is all the taste. I'm going to analyze maybe about a pinch there, just like that. I'm going to throw about that much salt in there also. Let's see. About that much. This sauce needs a lot of salt a lot of times because you have a little high, high acidity. It takes a lot of salt sometimes to balance that also. Start with that. Then I need some garlic powder and paprika. This is about a pinch. There's no quick measurement for this. I'll say about a pinch to an eighth of a teaspoon. It's about a pinch. About that much right there. Garlic powder. About that much right there. Just like that. About a pinch also. And then I'm going to add a couple dashes of liquid smoke. And you can find this at most grocery stores. It's everywhere. It's super delicious. It brings back that smokiness also that you find in the classic barbecue sauce. So I had like five dashes I did, okay? And then last but not least, my favorite buddy here, charred habanero. Now you can use either one whole one if you like a lot of spice or a half of one. I'm using half now. I like spice, but habanero, especially when you char, char it, it can get a little kick. So let's throw that right in there also. I did half of one. So that have, other half is still sitting there. Like that. I'm just gonna whip, mix it all together, okay? Everything in one bowl, all together. Let me get a whisk. Let's whisk it all together. Give me one second. That'll make it a little easier. All right, there we go. Switch over to the whisk, the big guns. Let's break down that mayo, all those pieces of mayo, and get all these good ingredients mixed together. Real quick. Oh yeah, I'm gonna add a little salt though. As I told you before, a lot of times acidity, high acidity things need a lot of more salt to balance them out. I'm gonna add a little more salt there. Stand up a little more. I don't like a lot of heat. I'm gonna add a little paprika in there too. A lot more, more, like another pinch or two. Okay. There we go. Let's grab this spoon to taste. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, it's so good, guys. You're gonna love it. So, this pretty much goes really great with like. I would say like maybe some grilled fish or grilled chicken, anything grilled with a nice smoke essence to it. And you can go crazy with smoke. If you want to add more liquid smoke, you can add more. Don't need to go crazy if you're going to grill something also. But uh, that's the white barbecue sauce, guys. And we have about nine minutes until that chicken is ready. I'll pull it out, show you in a minute, all right? Glaze some of that chicken in there. Get some of that fat back up real quick. Before I plate it. Alright. So now we got that going. I want to see that back on the stove top real quick. We don't need it. We're gonna plate this uh chicken real quick. So we're gonna start with some of that barbecue sauce. I'm gonna put some just in the middle. And you can play it how you want. You can do your own thing. It's okay, guys. There's no perfect method to this. 
also just like that. Alright, start with the bigger piece there, put him down just like that. The little guy just like that. And FYI, just, just a real quick thing, I threw a thyme in there halfway when it was cooking just to give some more aromas to it. So I threw that in there. So because I garnished that with that, I want to have a few more pieces on top also. Just like that guys. And that's it. Roasted chicken or grilled chicken with a white classic white barbecue sauce. All right, and once again, thanks for cooking with Chef Momo. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for all the support. Chef Momo out.